Hi, I'm Stephen Cuomo, founder and executive producer of Santa Fe Fashion Week. I produce fashion shows, I produce fashion blogs, and I want to do for fashion what Anthony Bourdain did for food. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tip Tuesday. I'm Stephen Cuomo, executive producer of Santa Fe Fashion Week, and you might be watching this on our YouTube channel and or fashion TV. And you're? Hello, I am Deidre Michelle with DME Talent Agency. I am a SAG franchised agency out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we represent uh, many different divisions within the industry, models, dancers, actors, stunt, and specialty. And so we're here today to actually give you all some advice. We're doing this weekly, we're doing every Tuesday, just coming in and giving you some minor tips, some small things that we're dealing with personally mm -hmm. um, within the industry or, or questions that come to us or things that we've actually experienced that we just wanna kind of give our input to you on and, and let you know that you're not the only one either dealing with it or questioning some of the things that we're talking about. Fantastic. Yeah. So today we're gonna talk about a real hot topic. Oh uh, Lord. A uh, hot button yeah. uh, topic with you, and uh, you know Al Albuquerque, New Mexico. I mean, the Netflix is here. It's a really booming film industry, mm -hmm. and you have um, some already signed uh, models and agents, mm -hmm. or models and uh, actors and actresses, and you have some people that are emerging and whatnot. You yeah. have some really great photographers, some up and coming photographers, and there's always this conversation I see on social media about. Who pays who? <laughs> oh, so Lord. Do you want to address that? Oh, uh, uh, here we go. Okay. okay, so my honest opinion is I love trade for print. I'm, I'm not against trade for print, and I really need to say that out loud because I don't want to think that models or photographers need to think I'm against it. I just think that there needs to be a very firm line drawn when a trade for print happens because a trade for print is a collaboration. It's a 50-50 collaboration and two people coming in together, and the creativity comes from both sources. If there's finances put into it, it's an equal amount of finances finances put into a trade for print. Um, it's uh, you together deciding what images get put out, not the photographers like, oh, I love these, and the models like, oh, I hate them, and the photographers like, I'm going to put them out anyway. I think that it really needs to be said that trade for print is a 50-50 collaboration down the, down the middle. Um, some trade for print is going to benefit models because you can build on your portfolio, which is necessary for you to train and book jobs and get experience, um, plus network with photographers. Mm -hmm. And then photographers it's also good for them because you guys have an opportunity to again build your portfolio and your experience and your uh, you know networking within the industry and and building up working with other models now that is for trade for print now there is one thing that I offer because if you're signed with an agency here's the deal is it's not just your opinion um, whether it's the model of the photographer on on the photo it's the agent's opinion as well realize as an agent I'm trying to build models and image right and if we have a photo that say we don't feel is the best image or portrayal of an image on a model but the photographer is still putting it out then we've we've already lost because you're putting it out you're tagging them so realize that if uh, you know a casting director or if a model scout goes to look at their social media and you've tagged them in these photos that really aren't what we want to be portraying their image as, um, you're not helping us. You know, we're not, we're not helping each other. And really, the, 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 the thing for New Mexico is us getting on the map to be good models, that we can actually represent models that are ready to work, that are ready to book, that have a portfolio, that have a resume, that are trained, that know their angles. These things are really important to me. And, and so I think that we have to make sure that if a trade for print happens, realize that if you are doing a trade for print with a signed model, that the agency is going to want to be involved in the decision of the photos that go out. Because again, they're signed. If you don't want to have to deal with that, then you need to do uh, work with models that are not signed so that you don't have that third opinion. But if they're signed with me, you better believe my opinion is involved. Because also remember, my name, my logo, my image is all over that model social media. So if you put out a photo that we don't agree on right. and you tag that model and then somebody goes to that model's page and then there's my logo all over it. So that makes it look like I am supporting this not standard level of what we're trying right. to make the world right. see New Mexico as. And we're trying to push that New Mexico has good models. Right. And if we're putting out mediocre photos, which happens, mm -hmm. honest to God, guys, if you take 100 pictures, I pick two, two, right. two. And so the other ones don't all need to be seen. Just because you take a picture, it doesn't mean the world needs yeah, to see yeah. it. That's why it's called a money shot, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, so that's when it comes to trade for print. 
Now, when we get into whether you pay a model or you pay a photographer, models, you've got to get out of this phase of thinking that you don't need to pay for your pictures. You need to realize that as a standard in LA, $500 is a minimum just for a sitting, not even to get any of your pictures back, but just for the sitting mm -hmm. itself. Um, you know, in, in New York, oh my gosh, it's even more than that. It goes up into the thousands just for your sitting. Now, here's why you're going to pay your photographer is because if you want to build your portfolio to book a job, the intention behind that is your career. And why do we want to book a job to get paid right. right now? If you're wanting your portfolio to be so good that you're booking jobs, you need to be paying for that to happen. So if you go to a photographer and you're like, Oh my gosh, this photographer is amazing. They're going to help me make it big. Right. Then that means that you are going to them and you are asking to hire them for their services for what they're going to do for you. You need to pay them for that. Okay. You need to pay them now photographers, same thing. Say you want to use a model's image to advertise your next set of photo prices, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to use that model so that you can make money you need to be paying that model. That so understand, like, I feel like if the model is using the photographer to build their portfolio, they need to pay for it. Right. If the photographer is using the model to help build their portfolio, because they're going to sell packages for prints and, and photos, mm -hmm. then they need to be paying the model for it. So when there's a money exchange involved, if somebody's making money on one end or the other, mm -hmm. they need to pay. And another great example is yesterday, literally yesterday, I had a model send me a flyer and say, this company wants to use my picture on their promo. And it very clearly stated on the promo that they were charging for their next summer session of things. Mm -hmm. And so I told this model, I said, so you realize that you are now being used as a promotional factor for this company to make money. Right. And he said, Oh my God, but my pictures are going to be all over Santa Fe. Yeah. And I said, right. But at what point do we let them know right. you're going to be making money off of getting people's attention to come to your photo and session you're your and you're using this model's image to make that money. You need to pay that model, right. you know, no, and, and, I, and he was very uncomfortable because I feel like he was like, well, I've got a relationship with them. Right. Which is fine. But mm -hmm. this is business. And if somebody is wanting to use your image to make money because you're a professional, then they need to pay you for that. And you guys, there are set model rates. And but I always say when I offer rates, we are willing to negotiate depending on your budget. Mm -hmm. I just think the value needs to be set, mm -hmm. set with no, you know, ifs, ands or buts on when people need to start making money, both photographers and models, you mm -hmm. know? And if it's a trade for print, again, I support it, I love it, mm -hmm. but then that's a 50-50 collaboration. But right. if it's a signed model, I'm still involved. Cool. And so, yeah, it's it's hard. And I also, you know, I offer a, a contract release to photographers when we do a, or a, a photo shoot, and it scared a couple of them. And, and what I wanna say is I'm not trying to take away um, your ownership of the photo, but what I am trying to do is raise the level and the standard. And I feel like if it's a signed model that you're working with, I'm going to be involved in the photos that get chosen because we're building an image. Yeah. Um, also, photographers, if you take a photo and you use it for publication, say you as a photographer, because you own the image you own the right to that copyright mm -hmm. if you take that picture and you submit it and it gets published and that publication pays that agreement that I'm offering is also stating that that model is going to make 50% of that payout as they, should. as they should exactly but also realize that that agreement also states that you are being protected as a photographer that I'm going to take those pictures and I'm going to use them for their portfolio for the website and for social media so you know if I decide to put your picture up on you know, a huge billboard on the freeway, mm -hmm. I'm not going to just do that. So the contract protects both the model, the agent and the photographer. And I feel like New Mexico is not used to having to deal with signed models, right. but everybody's complaining because how come nobody's paying attention to us? Because we're not elevating our standard. We're not, we're not rising to this level right. and, and we have to rise to the level. We have to make sure that photos are getting approved before they get put out. If it's an agency mm -hmm. model that models are getting paid, if you're using it for promotional factors and that photographers are getting it paid, if models are needing that for their portfolio to book a job, I think that we've got to start setting the standard and we've got to do it together. Well, it brings up a couple of points. So as someone who actually hires models, because I've hired models that appeared on America's top models, I host Santa Fe fashion. Correct. So those are paid models. I'm also working on an event in October, which is going to be called shoot Santa Fe. And it's going to be a photography outing where I'm bringing in a couple of professional models, which will be paid. And so as someone who's hiring a, man, a model and they're actually going to come from out of state is I'm looking at their Instagram feed. So I'm looking at the quality of their photos, but I'm also looking at their social media following because part of uh, having this photography outing is 
you know, the models are going to help draw the professional photographer. Right, so they're right. going to be really great models and on their game. The photographers are actually going to want to pay the fee to come shoot these models because I'm going to have to pay the models. And we have Richard Hallmark that was on Project Runway as a photo as the as designer, a designer yeah. during the balloon fiesta. But again, as someone who's actually paying money for the services that you offer. Uh, providing models for events and, and whatnot, is I'm looking at the quality of their photos and their, their Instagram following, how they respond to different people. So again, it, it all comes full circle and I'm deciding my budget on which model would I, would I hire. This one's got 500 followers on Instagram, this one's got 50,000 followers. And you guys, and it makes a difference. And it's unfortunate, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of social right. media and anybody knows me knows that. Um, but it is true, you know, if you've got a certain amount of followers, then a, a project is one, going to want to capitalize on that. Right. So if you bring them in and you say, okay, we're gonna book you on this job, and if we book you on this job and you promote yourself, now your 5,000 people are now seeing that you right. booked so, and now so you're okay. getting so, this. Yeah, they're an advertising revenue for they're an advertising for yeah they're an, yeah but but then also I think remember models if you are being looked at to book a job professionally and get paid for it then that also means that it you weighs need, into it yeah but you also need to be trained yeah you need to know your poses you need to know you know how to show up and deliver immediately you need to be a professional model you need to have a portfolio a resume experience um, if you're expected to get paid for jobs you need to be pushing yourself as a professional model which does not mean you can just take a good selfie that's great and we've talked about that before so with that yeah. said um, I'm gonna put a link to the video we did about America's top model because we actually yeah addressed, we, we actually addressed, addressed training. training we a full we full on talked about what models should be doing to train and prep for being booked out for a job and hired for a job and again New Mexico we've got to we've got to raise our, our level is that if we want people to notice us we want people to start booking us then we have to start pushing ourselves as professionals not as amateur models that just like to get in front of the camera well said well thanks for taking yeah. time out of your busy day oh, absolutely she's got this Monday and or we're pulling for Tuesday. Yeah. But uh, her phone's blowing up. <laughs> going so, crazy. Yeah, we're going crazy. So thanks for tuning in to Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you next week. Tip Tuesday. Ciao.